Do you ever find yourself wanting to play your favorite Windows games on Linux, but not want to deal with the weird quirks and workarounds that you have to use sometimes when using Wine? Or maybe your favorite Windows game won't even work with Wine anymore. Now I think everybody who uses Linux is aware of virtualization, specifically virtualization with VirtualBox. Now it's entirely possible to install Windows 10 on a Linux host using VirtualBox. But if you want to do any gaming, you certainly won't be doing it with VirtualBox. Instead, enter VMware, specifically VMware Player. Not to be confused with VMware Workstation, which is a similar product, but VMware Player, or also called VMware Workstation Player, is a free product. And believe it or not, it supports up to DirectX 10. Now don't expect to play anything like Battlefield 3 or Overwatch, because both of those games require DirectX 10.1, which VMware doesn't support quite yet. But, most Windows games that you can play through Wine, you can also play in VMware. So the bigger question is, how is the performance? I mean, if you use VMware, you're going to be virtualizing pretty much everything, whereas Wine, technically everything is still physical hardware. So this video is going to be a benchmark comparison between two games and one synthetic benchmark. At the end of the video, we'll go over the benchmarking scores and a couple other footnotes. And now, let's dive into the benchmarks. In a lot of ways, this benchmark is a direct comparison between OpenGL and DirectX. Because remember, the GPU is being virtualized, but none of the software is. Our virtual machine is using a complete implementation of DirectX, so there's no conversion or reverse engineering happening. And just like anything, your mileage will vary as far as performance goes. With the Tomb Raider benchmark, the performance was very comparable. But with War Thunder, there was a 50 frame per second difference between environments, and then 12 frames per second between the Valley benchmark. So I originally intended this video to be a benchmark comparison between VMware and Wine, but I ran into problems trying to get the benchmarks to run in Wine. I wasn't able to get any of the UniEngine benchmarks to run, I kept running into the same error, saying there was something wrong with the file system. And a lot of Windows benchmarks nowadays are based around DirectX 11, which don't work on Wine or VMware. So I tried to use 3DMark, but Wine kept crashing in the middle of it, so I had to scrap that. But it shouldn't be much of a surprise that certain games and applications run better in Wine, while others run better in VMware. And of course, if you want to do anything with Windows and VMware, you have to install Windows, which requires a Windows license. With Wine, you don't need to muck around with licenses. So that's going to wrap this benchmark up. So if you want to see other games running in VMware, or if you want to see how to install VMware and how I configured my VMware Windows 10 install, you can check those out on my channel. I've put links to those in the description. And while VMware isn't exactly the silver bullet for running Windows applications on Linux, at least there are two options. So that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching.